Hey there, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy October to you. <laughs> I'm, la I'm laughing because my roommate is sitting here playing um, PlayStation while I'm doing this, and he's a Taurus. So as soon as I said that, he looks back and be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> hi, guys. Welcome in. Uh, welcome to October. Um, we're just going to get a quick energy read for you for this moment. Um, doesn't absolutely have to resonate for the month of October, but whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you at that time. Um, <clears throat> also, this is a general reading. Please keep that in mind. Please place this in your life as it fits naturally. Could be talking to a cross watcher if that applies to you, so keep that in mind as well. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, yes. Yes. All right, Taurus, let's get into this. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna give this two more shuffles for you. Uh, 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 please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. All right, last shuffle here. For Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? What messages do we have for Taurus at this time, please? Okay. First card is the Three of Swords. But, um, Taurus, I feel anger and or aggression here because of this three of swords i feel like there is a very strong desire to release yourself from some sort of pain um maybe some sort of manipulation i, I whatever this three of swords is whatever this painful energy is for you here it is a it's it's a seriously driving force is what i'm hearing i feel like at this point taurus you're just so fed up with feeling like this that you're De desiring to make a change. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Six of Wands and then the Six of Swords. Yeah, okay. Oh, and the Tower is the overall energy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, y you know what's funny about this though, Taurus? Like I said, this Three of Swords energy is a very strong, strongly driving force for you right now. And it's almost as if the universe wants that for you. So for some of you guys, this is a situation, what you're going through right now is um, you've been digging your heels in about something somehow, some way, um, and maybe being resistant to this change or resistant to alleviating this painful energy. And now... And now you're like, nah, fuck this. No, we're doing something about this now. You have the Three of Swords, and with that, you have the Six of Wands to the Six of Swords, okay? So obviously, you're gonna be moving forward from this somehow. I already kind of feel like you already are, maybe on an energetic level or on a mental level. I'm getting with this Six of Swords energy, your mind is finally in the right place for you to move forward. And the Six of Wands here is representing a victory of sorts. And it feels like maybe this victory so far is just the fact that you are either ready to or in some cases I'm hearing you're bound and determined to move away from this pain. This could be a specific relationship. It could be a circumstance, whatever this is for you. There is victory that is going to come from this on top of the fact that you are already victorious because it seems you have decided to move forward somehow. Instead of staying where you were or staying where you have been or staying in this painful situation, whether it's a, a, a physical circumstance, a relationship, or just a, a, a state of mind, you have decided, I'm moving forward from this. Now, the tower being at the bottom of the deck could also could represent the fact that something actually happened in waking life, in your physical reality, to get to like literally light a fire under your ass. Also, the tower is representing you making some sort of change here, okay? The, the tower is giving me two twofold energies, and I do feel like both of those energies apply. Both something in the physical world, in your reality, or in this situation, relationship, circumstance, whatnot, whatever, something popped off to get to, like, shake you out of your rootedness, 
we'll say. But then also the tower is representing you taking physical action to make this change. I'm literally seeing somebody tear, rip something down in a very aggressive, angry manner. And it's so crazy. We were just, me and, me and my roommate here were just talking about this a few days ago or something. It's like how, how much of a beneficial energy anger and rage can actually be. Because if you take it and use it effectively, obviously, yes, there are going to be some destructive qualities to it, but if you really channel that in the appropriate places, that destructive quality could be very, very helpful for you. Anger is one of the most motivating forces to get you out of some sort of stuck or rooted place or just a place that you've been in for a while that is hurting you. Okay, let's clarify. Three of Swords. What's this Three of Swords for, for a Taurus, please? Three of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Page of Cups. The Magician. Okay. <laughs> Overall energy is the Five of Wands. Um... Interesting. I'm feeling a few things here. First and foremost, I feel like the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups here is that new start. Okay, the Page of Pentacles would be breaking ground on a new project or starting a new job or starting a new, um, I don't know, uh, 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 Core training course or breaking ground or taking the first new steps in the new alignment, in the new direction, in the new reality. I like to say a lot of the time with the page of pentacles, this gives a feeling of being green again or having to put your training wheels back on because you're starting a new path, a new project, a new something. Okay. And so you're going to have to, you know, it's a little shaky at first. Um, but ultimately, you don't have to, you're not going to have to wear those training wheels forever. You know, they'll be able, you'll, you'll, you'll find your balance again and you'll be able to ride on forward. So that, that's giving me a bit, little, little bit of that energy. And then with the Page of Cups here, there is also um, a new emotional understanding, um, maybe a sense of emotional refreshment or renewal. I do feel like in whatever direction you're moving in now from this moment on, I, there is also maybe even a, a level of greater belief in yourself or at least having faith in the new as you're moving forward from this pain. But also the page, these two pages here, might, I, I want to say for some of you, it represents an agreement you may have made with someone in the past that I feel like you have been trying to uphold. But it's not maturing it's not progressing it's stuck at this new level at this page level and that actually could be what has been causing this pain here okay now if this is a relationship like maybe we'll say a romantic relationship or maybe a business partnership or something like that but it does feel like there may have been some sort of commitment made or some offer or something like that maybe even in good faith that has not been working or has not been progressing. It has not been growing, developing. And that's been a source of pain for some of you. But then with that here, you do have the magician. I, I, what I'm getting, what I'm hearing and feeling with the magician is I am going to make a new start for myself. I am going to get myself out of here or out of this space, out of this situation, out of this circumstance. For some of you, you've been pretty stagnant for a long time and haven't really been trying anything. But that's definitely changing now. Overall energy is the Five of Wands. But then underneath the Five of Wands is the Ace of Wands to the Three of Wands. Um, so there may have been a lot of indecisiveness. There may have been a lot of um, internal conflict. I do feel like for somebody here, there was a commitment made that you had every intention to honor. But honoring that commitment is only creating more turmoil, more pain, more trouble, more strife, more struggle for you. And the internal conflict you've been having is, do I go back on this commitment that I made? Do I abandon this ship? Taurus, you're a very lo loyal very, very loyal 
sign. I, I, I would arguably say you might be the most loyal. However, Scorpio is quite loyal as well. They're the opposite of you. But most times when Taurus makes a commitment, they don't do so lightly. They don't get into making commitments with people or, or making agreements with people with intentions of abandoning it, usually. Or at least that's the feeling that I'm getting for you or this person that this, this reading is for. And so you had this inner, inner conflict here saying, what do I do about this? But ultimately, you have been able to settle on Ace of Wands, a direction, a feeling of how you want to move forward here. And it's all having to do with the future, the path ahead of you, receiving a return on an investment or intending to receive an return, a return on an investment. But it feels like you're going to have to move in a different way, go in a different direction, do a different thing, let go of whatever commitment you made that was not working. And this feels like the moment that you got over this internal conflict, the moment that you decided to allow yourself to release yourself from this painful situation that just wasn't going to get better. Okay. Let's clarify the Six of Wands then for you. What's the Six of Wands for Taurus? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. And then we're back to the tower at the overall, as the overall energy. But clarifying this, what we have for the Six of Wands here is the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and then the Ten of Swords. Yes, ma'am. So your victory here, Taurus, your victory is you deciding to end the situation. That's the first part of it. And then, of course, there's going to be more victory, more glory, what, what not, whatever, as you move forward from here. But Queen of Wands is feeling like getting into alignment with what it is that you truly want, taking your power back, connecting with your power, connecting with your fire, your drive, your creativity, your abilities. For some of you here, this is a situation in which you're, you are saying to yourself or have been saying to yourself, I know I'm better than this. I know I am capable of more than this. I know I can achieve more than this. I know I am stronger than this. I know I am more powerful than this. And you allowed yourself to activate that. Again, like I said earlier, a fire has been lit under your ass in some cases, driving you towards change, driving you towards ending the situation. And the tower, the tower could be that moment where you suddenly just, you change alignment. You say, I'm not doing this any longer. And for some, for some of you here, the tower moment is really not necessarily you, or at least the suddenness of it is not you. It's, on, it's felt on behalf of the people around you or the situation that you were in that would be affected by this change that you are cha desire, desiring and choosing to make by you deciding to end the situation, okay? So while yes, earlier when the tower came out as the overall energy, I did feel a twofold energy. One is a certain situation may have popped off in the physical reality that got you to open your eyes to the situation or got you to finally decide or, or settle on saying, no, I'm not going to do this anymore or I'm going to change something about this. And then also the other side of the tower is you taking those actual physical steps. Yeah, Taurus. All right. Six of swords then. What's the Six of Swords for Taurus? The Queen of Pentacles. Ooh wee, okay. <laughs> We're back to the Three of Wands as the overall energy. You have the Queen of Pentacles, you have the World and the King of Swords. Clarifying the Six of Swords here. So clarifying you moving forward here this is a very clear and to the point, or at least a very objective decision that you have made. And that is all, or that you are making. And that is all surrounding 
your ability to provide, your ability to nurture, your ability and desire to be a team player, to, 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 to be in a balanced, reciprocal, and harmonious situation. It's gotten to a point, Taurus, where you cannot deny the fact that something about the situation that you are desiring to and or needing to move forward from has not been reciprocal, okay? Your sense of self-worth, your sense of well-being, your sense of integrity, Queen of Pentacles, has been the deciding factor here. And it's, it, 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 and it's not even like there are, there, it's, it's any emotion. This is not happening because you're emotional, you're in your feelings, you're blah, whoop de whoop and all that bullshit, no. Point blank, period, cut and dry. The evidence has been shown and this is the decision that we're making. It's objective. So if there is, for some of you here, if there is some sort of commitment that you are facing, removing yourself from, retracting your... Um, Retracting, I just heard retracting your sense of solidarity or retracting how, what your commitment to providing or to being a part of this situation, whatnot, whatever. If you're facing that, moving away from that, you need to understand, at least you need to understand. The people around you don't necessarily need to understand it, but you at least need to be solid within yourself to understand that you're not some flighty individual that goes around making commitments with people with intentions of not following through with it or not really even being involved. No, you had every intention of doing the thing. So there is no, this is not because, this is not a change that is coming because of emotion. It's purely objective, purely logical. Your sense of self-worth says to you, I no longer be, need to be in this situation. And that's really all that matters. That's really, that, that, that's it. Because ultimately here, you are trying to figure out or you are focused on how do we move forward? How do we receive the return on the investments that we have been trying to receive? Take it as it resonates. Okay, six of wands, I'm sorry, three of wands. Underneath that three of wands, again, yeah, we're back to the ace of wands and five of wands. Yep. This is all about moving forward, period. In the best way possible. For yourself and for others. So for some of you, this could be a situation, especially with the Queen of Pentacles here, this could be a situation in which maybe there was some sort of enablement happening. Typically, the Queen of Pentacles is not the type of energy to give to a situation in which it, there is no reciprocity. She's not going to want to continue working with individuals that aren't bringing anything of value to the table. Okay. But it does feel like there may have been a feeling here in terms of the situation not necessarily being all that reciprocal and you just sticking with it. Why? Well, because you made a commitment. But how long, ask yourself, Taurus, how long should you be continuing to deplete yourself for a commitment that either isn't working out or other people aren't keeping up their end of the bargain, right? How long, do you have to, how long do you have to force yourself to stay with that? Okie dokie. Closing message here for you, Taurus. Ace of Swords. Truth. Wow. The Ace of the... Wow. The Ace of Swords. The Seven of Wands. Yep. I want to take this one as well. Okay. Ooh, and that one. Ooh, wee. Okay. You have the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Swords, which is reversed, um, the Seven of Swords, and the Strength card. Overall energy is the Knight of Cups. There is compassion here, for sure, with this Knight of Cups energy. I feel like you are holding a level of compassion. You may be fairly understanding of how someone may be hurt by this. But the fact of the matter is, Taurus, it is the truth is the truth. Ace of Swords, it is what it is. The facts don't lie. There needs to be some sort of boundary here. 
stand your ground somehow. Okay, and you're coming out of a level of denial, two of swords reversed with the seven of swords here. You're coming out of some level of denial about a deceptive situation, something that was sneaky or a situation or an association with someone who was just trying to get one over on you. Who may not have had any real intentions of truly following through with the commitment that was made or whatever this is. Or just a deceptive, sneaky situation. And I feel like you were in denial of this for some time. But you're not in denial any longer. You're not denying the truth of the reality. That there needs to be a level, of, a greater level of boundaries. And then you have strength here. And to me, strength is saying that you are definitely keeping your ego in check here. It may have been your ego that was saying to you, no, I made this commitment. I need to honor it. I need to follow through with it. No matter how detrimental it is to me. No, that's bullshit, Taurus. You don't have to do that anymore. Quite frankly, you never had to do that. But it was part of a lesson that you were trying to learn at that time. So, okay. You got through it. You've come out of it on the other end. I'm hearing, I, I kind of want to say you see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see the circumstance, the situation for what it is. And now you are acting accordingly. And I'm looking at this Knight of Cups energy and I'm like, it, that's very interesting here because I do feel a level of compassion here. But I also, what I want to say about this, Taurus, is you are moving forward with your heart's desire. So while you may be holding compassion for others that may be hurt technically by the decision that you're making or how you're moving forward. Also, though, you're holding compassion for yourself and are saying, I don't need to continue to subject myself to something that is just going to keep me in a painful circumstance or situation. This Knight of Cups energy does kind of feel selfish, but there are moments where we need to be selfish to protect ourselves, to ensure our safety and well-being, just the way that we ensure the safety and well-being of others as well, you know? Sometimes you do have to be a little bit selfish. There is such a thing as a healthy dose of selfishness. But it all has to be kept in check, kept in balance. But at this point, I feel like the compassion that you're holding, the grace that you're holding is mostly for yourself in allowing yourself out of a tough, difficult situation. Okay? Excellent, Taurus. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Taurus, I hope you have a fantastic month. Congratulations to you. Um, I wish you well moving forward, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.